Hey everyone. So I'm going to do a waterfall pour and it's going to be a dirty pour. And I already put the white down on this 11 by 14 oval canvas. You can find these on Hobby Lobby's website. They're on sale quite a bit, so keep your eye out. Sales are usually start on Sunday. And I'm definitely going to be using a paper cup because I want to be able to pinch the cup. And I'm going to spray it with WD-40 first. And this is in the black can. Always spray away from your canvas so you don't get the silicone spray on there. Okay, so I'm going to start with white. And these are all metallics except for the white. This is Craft Smart Espresso Metallic. And I'm going to just put them on the side of the cup. Craft Smart Pewter Metallic. Craft Smart Deep Bronze Metallic. Now I'm going to separate that with gold. And this is also from Craft Smart. And Deco Art Worn Penny. And we're going to do it again. And I'm not putting black in. You should be proud of me. <laughs> I'm kind of replacing it with the pewter. Let me put just a little gold there. Break that up. That's plenty of paint. Okay. Let's start it with gold. Just a tiny bit. Move those out of the way because we're probably going to make a mess. I'm going to pinch that cup. See how the layers are. So I'm going to pinch it there. And I'm just going to lift the canvas up just a little bit so that it will flow down. I'm really hoping this will be prettier when I stretch it. <laughs> Is that um, espresso really took over? that one. It's not pretty at all. So we are definitely going to skip that espresso. This is pretty. <laughs> so this is what I do when I don't like something. I just hurry up and scrape it off and just wipe it off with a paper towel while it's wet. It doesn't have to be perfect because we are going to pour right over it. I'm 
just putting my powder back on there. Okay. Let's try that again. It's just paint. So now you'll get to see me put my white base down. <laughs> get too much in that spot over there because I would like to pull some skins out of this. So I'm not wasting all of the paint. You really want to stretch your base coat. Um, you don't want to leave a ton of paint on your canvas because then it's puddling up around your edges and it's not fun to try to get it off. Okay. So I think I can use the same cup. Let me just wipe that brown out of there. Alright. So we're going to start with white. <laughs> we are going not to use the brown. I'm going to use this as a black, so I'm going to use that in between layers. And we're not going to use as much paint this time. Sorry guys, I didn't want this to be a long video. I love that deep bronze, it's such a pretty color. Let's put some blue next to that. And some white, I'll use this up. Tomorrow is paint mixing day. And a little more of the Okay. I'm happy with that one, I think. We'll see. Alright, let's try this again. So the whole point of me doing it this way is because I want it to go over the edge and I want to be able to just stretch that out. So the white is only on there so the paint has um, something to glide on. I wasn't looking for any angel wings or anything like that. I just want movement. Selling up around the edges. This is why I use black. to 
just torch it and see what will happen. See all the little white cells? <coughs> Metallics do not play well. So here's what I'm going to do next. So I want to work that cell area out. Let that set for a minute and we'll drip down into the paint. And I'm going to play with this little thingy. We're just going to pull it over the edge. And it's still selling. Just pour it over then. Don't ever give up, guys. <laughs> I'm not giving up yet. I just want to take that white edge off, is all. So we're going to have to move it quite a bit and keep bringing it back. without um, stretching that too much. So I think we're gonna be good right here. I may have to just touch a few spots. Oh, that's horrible. Well, I'm not uploading that video, that's for sure. So we will do this now. We're going to dip her. So we have so much paint. Um, on the pad already. This will make a great background for something else without wasting a canvas. Um, <coughs> I'm just trying to think if I won't put anything else in there. I need some of that copper, don't I? Okay. Now we're going to flip and dip. off. I have to take both my gloves off because you want to make sure that paint in the middle is going to touch. So it's kind of a smush, smush and dip. All that runoff is gorgeous so I'm going to be able to pull a lot of skins out of that <coughs> and make a lot of tiles that's for sure. Okay, so I want it to come, I think I want it to come the lengthways. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull this up. And 
there is my dip. It's gorgeous now. So that will make a beautiful background for um, some hand painting, maybe some flowers or something. So you can save a pour in all of this. I'll make tiles. Let me just do one and I'll show you. So I already have these prepped and ready to go. I have dozens there. So I always have them available. So I'll just take this paint and lay it on the tile. Touch my edges with my finger. I'm going to let that run over to take that seam out. So there you have it. I'm going to have a lot of coasters to match that painting, aren't I? <laughs> So my friends, don't ever give up. You can always do something with it. And this is beautiful. Subscribe if you haven't. Click the bell next to the subscribe button. Leave a comment, share the video, like the video, Check out all our links below in the description and have yourselves a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye now.